Hi, this is Tom Stringham from Imagine Form, and today I'm going to go over the Glowforge user interface uh, using a catalog design and proof grade material. So once your Glowforge is set up, you're going to want to go to app.glowforge.com. That will bring you to your home page right here. Uh, it will have some designs that they give you, and any designs that you upload will also be on this page. Um, so we're going to get started. We're going to go to open, go open the Gift of Good Measure keychain. This is the main user interface uh, where you will spend most of your time. Starting up here in the upper right is the name that you picked for your Glowforge and your name. Uh, if you have more than one Glowforge or access to more than one Glowforge, it will be here. And it will give you the status. It will say ready calibrating or offline. Also here is settings. This will bring you, you can change your password, you can invite users, you can change your billing address, and a few other things. You can also log out here. Up on the top is home. Home will bring you to the screen we are just at. Catalog will bring you to the catalog where you can purchase designs. The shop is where you can buy proof grade material. The forum is the awesome Glowforge user forum. If you need help with anything, post your question there and somebody will get back to you very quickly. Also, if you just want to show off some cool things you've made on your Glowforge, that's another great place to do it. Support will bring you to another page that has all sorts of useful stuff. The user manual, safety, unboxing setup, first prints, cleaning and service, troubleshooting. Um, you can also contact support here, and there's another forum link. This main area here is your the bed of your Glowforge. I have a sheet of medium maple plywood in here. Uh, I have some holes cut out of it, and here is our design. So navigating this is a lot like other programs if you've used other vector programs. Up here you've got, we'll go through these, we've got an arrow here this allows you to move your design around. If you've got more than one design you can place them. Um, the hand allows you to move your entire screen which is useful when you are zoomed in which is right here. You can zoom out and you can zoom way in. The hand is highlighted so we're going to move the whole screen. You click the arrow, we are moving our object. If you are here and you want to move the screen, you can just hold the space bar. Holding the space bar, you can see highlights the hand there. And then you can move your screen around. Uh, we've got an undo button, a redo button, and if it's a catalog design, this button brings up instructions on if it's more complicated, you have to put it together. They will, the instructions for, for assembly will be here. This button here uh, allows you to refresh your bed image. We've got a lot of controls that are familiar. Uh, just left mouse click, drags it around, and grab these corners and scale it. This bar up here allows you to rotate it. And if you hold the shift key down while rotating it, It will fix it to 45 degree angles. You can rotate uh, vector images. You cannot rotate raster images at this point. Control C copies it. Control V pastes it. Control X cuts it. And Control Z undoes the last operation you did. All right. Right here where it says unknown, that's talking about your material. So even though I've got the sheet of proof grade in here, the sun shining on it pretty bright, and it, it, it's not picking up that QR code. So in here, it says find your material, you can type in maple, and anything that has maple in it. So thick maple plywood, I've got medium maple plywood in there. So I'm going to select that, and what that does, since it's proof grade, is all your settings are in here. At this point, we really could just hit print and go and it'll cut it out right there in the middle of the material.
we don't really want to cut it out in the middle of the material, so we're going to move it down over to here. I'm going to zoom in. All right, so this over here is all of your operations. So we've got an engrave, two scores, and two cuts. Uh, this is the order that it will happen in, top to bottom. If you want to change the order, you just grab it and move it. So now it's going to engrave, score, score. We can put the score first if we wanted to. Um, doesn't really matter with this one. Generally, it's nice to do your engraves first, your scores, and then cut out last just in case it moves a little bit when it finally cuts out. You don't want your engraves to be off. So by clicking on one of these gives you a few options. Again, we're in proof grade, so we don't have a ton of options, but we can do graphic or dark graphic. So it's just lighter or darker engrave. The darker engraves will go deeper into the material. Um, light engrave and dark engrave is expiring soon. The software is still in beta, so some of these things are likely to change. These will be going away. Um, same thing with score. We've got a high quality score and a draft score. High quality is just that. It's a really nice even score. Draft is faster, but you'll have a little extra burn in the corners and where it stops. Um, cut, you don't really have, there's no options here. Um, with all of these, if you want to change, where it says proof grade and grave, you got a little drop down arrow. You can switch to manual on any of these. And then this gives you total control over your speed, power, uh, lines per inch, focus tight, and number of passes. You can also, at this point, ignore the step altogether and it just it won't it, it'll just ignore it won't do anything um, we're going to put it back on proof grade so one thing to notice is when you hover over these it, it lights up um, what it's referring to all right so at that point um, it's proof grade all your settings are in there and we just hit print so once you hit print it says scanning your material. The laser head will move over to where the cut is and then scan it for to make sure there's one material there and I believe it also takes a height measurement of the material. After it's scanning, it'll say preparing your design. The scanning takes less than a minute and preparing your design can take anywhere from 30 seconds to um, several minutes, up to 45 minutes if it's a complicated design or a long engrave. If it's too big, you will get an error, and you'll have to figure out how to break it down. But that won't happen with using catalog designs and proof grade material. All right, now it's just preparing your design. This will only take a minute or so. And this is your final screen. Push start on the Glowforge. It'll be 8 minutes and 17 seconds to cut it out. Um, so that's just it. You go press the button, let it cut out. All right, and here we are cutting out a little time lapse. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like. And if you'd like to be updated on when future videos come out, please hit the subscribe button. I will be doing one on the trace feature and also using your own artwork.